some point, you have to come to a realization that everything cannot be about sex. It cannot be about intimacy. It cannot be simply about us intertwining or just being body to body. We have to learn things has broader aspects when we just dealing with a dealing just with life in general. I mean, there's so many other things that you can literally do besides being sexual. We have gotten to a point that we over-sexualize everything. There is nothing to a degree that we care more for than just sex, being pleasure. And then we don't even understand that that only lasts momentarily. So what do we do for the rest of the 23 hours and 45 minutes. What do you do? You, you got your rocks off. So now what do you do for the rest of the day? What entertains you? What allows you to be stimulated without being touched? Without being talked to? Without being coerced? Without being, I mean, literally anything. Like, everything is solely on your accord. And you're fine. You're happy. What is that outside of sex? Do you read books? Do you play games? Do you play board games? Do you draw? Do you sculpt? Do you mold? Do you write poetry? Do you write music? Do you record? Do you like to cook? Do you like to cut grass? Do you like to trim hedges? Do you like going shopping? Do you like just being around good people? Do you like music? I mean, whatever really stimulates you that you can do by yourself and be content with. Because at this point, I mean, literally, the more you turn around, the more you hear about sex and this is the only thing that has people tripping we can say finance is cool when we get to the nitty-gritty of it everybody seems not to be happy with the pleasure that they're getting pleasure you're not entertained enough you can't be entertained several times a night at one point does sex matter that much that it consumes your life, consumes your habits, consumes your motives, consumes every act? At what point does it come to that? Because then you, you can't make me believe that you're happy with yourself. You can't make me believe that you're content with anything that you do because you're constantly needing reassurance from a physical act. You can't go jot down your feelings and feel better. You need to release them. You can't go sing your favorite song or melody or church hymn or, I mean, anything. You can't go draw. You can't go paint. You can't go do anything. Play with your kids and feel better. No, you need that nut. And I'm asking y'all, why? Why do you have to over-sexualize everything and then blame it on other people as to why you're not happy? You don't even know yourself. You don't know what makes you happy. All you know is physical touch makes your world go right. And if you cannot get that, you don't care for anything. You're not willing to do anything. At some point, you have to take a step back and say, you know what? I am bigger and better than anything that society wants to put on me. I'm not a follower. Granted, a lot of y'all got to be followers. Everybody is not a leader. We're going we gonna to nip that in the bud. Everybody is not a leader. But everybody doesn't have to be a follower. You can be an individual to yourself doing your own thing. But what I'm telling you is stop over-sexualizing yourself, situations, circumstances, 
It's never going to work out like you desire it to. Ever. Because for one, you didn't get to know the situation, the person, or the circumstances for what they truly were. Everything had an intent behind it. And then if that intent was not filled, you're ready to move on. Or you need more. So you done wasted precious time, ample time that you could have really changed your life, done something differently to put yourself in a better position day to day. But majority of us, or majority of the people, only worry about sex. How they can get their necks nut or just get their rocks off, period. Don't even care how it comes. Don't have to have any real substance behind it. We just out here catching bodies. And I'm asking you for what? For what? At what point do you sit back and say, you know what? I didn't have to do none of them. I didn't have to do any of that. And if I would have took that time to do something else and that energy to do something else, I probably wouldn't be feeling or in the position that I'm in right now. But we too spaced out on catching nuts that we're not even trying to catch our breaks, our blessings. And that's foolish to me. So I'm telling you to reconstruct your thinking, get to know yourself for real, and then rejoin society, rejoin the world. Because at this point, we're doing things backwards. Backwards. We got to do better.